So this is King Creasa. Uh, I followed King Creasa in New York for years and years. It seemed every year at Saratoga, he was winning a big race. And I was very good friends with David Donk, the trainer. And uh, I mentioned to David a couple of years ago that I'd love to have King Creasa at the farm. And we had a wonderful relationship with David because we, we'd retired uh, a wad. And a wad was the horse that really put David on the map. In fact, when we first got a wad, David brought his whole family down here to point to his three kids. He pointed to a wad and said, that's the reason you're not going to have to pay for college. So we had a good relationship. So I kept after David. I said, look, I just want you to know if you'll tell uh, the people that own King Creasa that we take really good care of the horses. Uh, I just love to have King Creasa because he's such a great campaigner. He's got such a great fan base. He's like the king of New York. Aren't you, buddy? All right, Cindy, can I have some more carrots? <laughs> and uh, and uh, so two years ago, I'm at Saratoga and I'm talking to David and uh, and he told me that as soon as King Creasa was done at Saratoga, he could come to Old Friends. So it was really cool. Huh. Jeez, what a, what a pair you are. And I love having them here. I think for like six or seven years in a row, three horses we have here, King Creasa uh, and Carafa and Lubosh, one of them won the uh, West Point Handicap. So they, some of them should be in New York, but some of the owners preferred have them in Kentucky because they, they're worried about them getting cold. I don't think it's a problem, but they do so. Here they are, and I'm really glad. Right, King? Yeah, we thank uh, his name is, is King Creaser with two E's, and his owners are the Cresses with one E. So, and he's a cool horse, aren't you? He looks like he can still run, don't you? And he's the boss of all of this, aren't you? you and he was named King before he got here, <laughs> and he's still the King, aren't you? You still the king? Are you still the king? I love Carafa too. And he and uh, King Creasa, as I mentioned, Lubosh are great rivals. Carafa has a wonderful owner named Paul Braverman. Uh, Paul's from Boston, so we had that in common. And uh, he asked us about Carafa. So when Carafa got to retire, he said, that's great, he can come down here with King Creasa. We can have a, we can have a reunion. And they get along great. The two of them were great rivals on the track. You go back in their past performances, it's just unbelievable. It's like having a, a, a certain version of Affirmed and Ali Dar here because they were great rivals. And Paul Braverman is, is a really good guy. He he supports his horse and he, he uh, financially, uh, he comes and visits them. You know, he realizes how much this horse did for him and did for everybody associated with him. And he's very, very grateful. And uh, last year, uh, John Bradley, who works for us, and I were at Saratoga going to a restaurant. John had a big hit at the track that day, and he was going to buy dinner. So I said, great. So we, we go to dinner, and John even orders a $40 bottle of wine. He's really spending it up big time. And it comes time to pay the tab, and Paul Braverman had already paid it. So John didn't even have to pay for dinner because of you, Carafa. He owes you a lot. He should be coming here feeding you carrots, right? So Carafa got us a free dinner. A free dinner, good food. Right next door to the Washington and we had free food because of Carafa and Mr. Braverman, right? Now, the third member of this group, Lubosh, is not with them because nobody gets along with Lubosh. Lubosh is just a bossy, bossy horse and nobody gets along with him. This, and he was trained by Christophe Clement, and he was the third member of the DO. We'll, we'll probably run into him. But, uh, but the funny story is this. I, I ran into Christophe Clement, and I said, you know, uh, Christophe, how come every horse we get from you is grouchy? You know, Lubosh is a grouch. He doesn't get along with anybody. He doesn't like any other horses. doesn't like humans. It's just he's very, he's very opinionated. And, uh, and, and he's very ag ag aggressive and he seems to be always in a bad mood. And Christophe Clement leaned back and he goes, you know why that is? Why? 
because he left the best trainer in the world and now he has to live with you. <laughs> that was the answer about, about Lou Bosch. What? You guys are the best. All right. Almost. Hi, buddy. Watch him pin his ears now. He, huh? You pinning your ears or are you getting along with everybody now? See, there's nobody in here with Lou Bosch. Lubash is a lone sailor, aren't you? Lubash, uh, along with King Krisa and Carafa, you know, for eight or nine years in a row in New York, every long distance turf race for New York Reds was seemingly won by one of them, and they kept taking turns. Uh, Lubash was trained by Christoph Clement. Christoph Clement, did he give you a lot of carrots? Maybe that's why you're grouchy, you didn't get enough carrots. He doesn't get along with anybody. It's Chris, maybe Kristoff's that way, I don't know. <laughs> what? He says, shut up and give me the carrots. I'm reading his body language. Shut up and give me those carrots and quit complaining. He's handsome though, isn't he? And boy, he was a wonderful racehorse. Really, really competitive. And ran every race and if, if he didn't win, he was always seemed to be in the exact in the trifecta. And you always put out for it, didn't you, buddy? Huh? The other two are very, very grateful to be here. And he, I don't think he is, he doesn't really care. Do you? He says, he says uh, I'm reading his body language now. What he's really saying is, you're so lucky to be standing there feeding me carrots. How did you get so lucky? I know, and I wish I'd have bet on you a few times too. That would have been much better than the carrots. Huh. And maybe Christophe Clement's right. Maybe the reason that you don't like it here as you miss him and all those people that took such great care of you and we're not up to their standards or something. I don't know, maybe that's it. I don't really know. But I know you and Albert the Great are the two grouchiest horses on the whole farm. I know that much. You know, Otherwise you'd have some company in here. See, it's all empty. Maybe that's what he wants. He wants it all to himself anyway. Because he knows if he acts up and doesn't treat the other horse very well, he's aggressive, that He'll get his own spot and get his own house. Wait a minute, I think he's telling me something. He said, yeah, he says, I'd rather have neighbors than roommates. No roommates for you. But those are the big three New Yorkers, Lubash and King Kresa and the wonderful Carafa. Hmm.